Hey everybody, what you're about to watch is a Immortals 2017 game of Dark Age, filmed on location at Cool Mini Expo 2017. So, anything can happen in a game like this. It's going to be filmed in one uncut stream um, with very little editing, and of course people can be walking by saying and doing stuff. So caveat emptor, this is a live convention game um, from the Immortals Tournament. I hope you enjoy this coverage, uh, and stay tuned for more of it. Check my Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for when the next episode will air. So going into Reactivate Tower, this was um, the full army that uh, Rob had. He had a Death Strike, Haniel, Ravage and Ravage Leader, um, Weaponsmith, St. John. He had one, two, three Faithful, and then a Strike and a Strike Leader. Uh, and that was his list for the game. And here's Owen's Blood Cult. He's got Raze, some Puppets, Keepsake, Father Mayhem, a Grafter, three Bolas, and two Drill Heads dropping into the Reactivate Tower. All right, so Owen and Rob are deployed. It looks like we've got Johnny, Weaponsmith, Strike Leader, Ravage and Ravage Leader, Strike, and on the other flank we've got three Faithfuls. Over here we got Rays, we've got a Puppet, a Puppet, Bola, 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 yep. for some Ebola. Uh, then we've got a um, Grafter? Grafter with a Drill Head, Drill Head with a Keepsake, Keepsake, and then Father Mayhem with one more of the Puppets. Puppets. And that's it. Ready to rock and roll your first turn. Awesome. Roll for initiative. Yep. Roll over here. Okay. Oh, I got a two. I got a three. Your choice. Father Mayhem, if you would. Absolutely. I'm going to reveal the burn it down scenario. Okay. Um, I'm going to charge the objective after that. So I can move up to three inches. We're just going to kind of rope around and say hello. Uh, he is being deployed in base to base, so I'm going to get gang up for this. Um, I have two dice in my attack group. I'm a base assault score of 10. I go to 11 for charging and 12 for having a buddy. According to my card, this is a defense of 10, so not 20s will hit it. I rolled an 18 and an 18, so in my favor today, if you wouldn't mind rolling for the objective. What's your pop? Uh, it's a base 5 times 2, 6 times 2 for charging, 7 times 2 because I have a buddy. 7 times 2 twice. Yep, so looking for. S yep. I got a 17 and a 3. So that's one. That's a failure. Yep. And then the second second, we got a 3 and a 19. That's two failures. I'm going to represent that thing's health with uh, bleed tokens. I will spend my second AP to hit it again. I'm no longer charging. However, given I'm AS10, it's defense 10, not 20s again. It's a 17 and a 12. Two more hits. These are now 6 times 2. Unfortunately, 11 five. the 11 will make it fail. So. It is quote unquote dead. Uh, I score, burn it down. Uh, I've got two action points left, so I've got some decisions. Do I either want to move forward and uh, be threatening when the wall of faithful starts running my way, um, or do I want to hang tight and probably grab an objective token myself? Uh, I'm going to check my psychogenics. I took vampiric touch, which is not going to help me now, infection, and provoking ridicule, all of which don't do me a whole lot of good. Um, I think I'm just going to hang tight and waste my last AP. Over to you. Uh, let's get the ravages in place. And we're going to start with... I need to check space in here. Absolutely. Oh, you're fine. You're not here yet. First, spend all three AP. Fantastic. All three good. Okay. Great. Uh, I'm going to reveal a second secondary objective and then activate my puppet. I'm going to reveal Sentry, which says, choose an objective, pick a model that starts in base to base. I have to end his activation in base to base, so he's just going to shimmy around. That'll do that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Over to you. Uh, so let's Already? He doesn't go on hold, he just hits squad. So. Yep. I'm going to uh, move Raze over three. I will put him on hold. He has the AP to do it. And uh, just getting base to base with the objective for setting up for next turn. <laughs> awesome. I'm going to do a little zigzagging. I'm going to move my puppet one and then. Remainder of eight. Just 
go hang out with some friends. Um, let's measure that. Oh, fantastic. The grafter's gonna go. He's gonna run his nine inches. Over to you. Check four. Oh no, not quite in. So we're gonna activate John. Yep. Uh, he's in squad link with the uh, weapon smith. Uh, unfortunately you can't. The weapon smith doesn't have a oh, squad link keyword. Yeah, yeah, that's right, you're right, thank you. He's just going to shimmy around on the other side. Yep. So there and then. Alrighty. I think I'm going to activate my keepsake. The keepsake has taken the psychogenic blood rush. She's going to try to use that psychogenic to give Father Mayhem an additional action point. So she needs a target number 14. Check to see with, his, with an 8. I think I can eyeball that. 7 is less than 14. So. I'm going to use a little exclamation point to make sure that Father Mayhem remembers he's all excited. Um, oh, so so that carries over to the next activation. Exactly. Um, I don't think I wanted to get... Oh, I think I want to uh, try the same trick on the drill head. So 14 again. 7 again, less than 14. I've got two action points left. And I think I'm just going to advance her over the scenario piece, and just get up and up, start causing problems. Get up on What is uh, Rez's defense? Rez's defense is an 8. It's an 8, and his armor is 18? 20. 20. Well, I think, I think it's about time for a hold party. I'm going to measure eight from my grafter. I think this bola is just going to walk up, staying within uh, fun time range. And I do believe he is going to go on hold. So faithful. We're going to squad link them. Right up. First one is going to just shoot you over three. Put the activated non hold tokens there in a second. Awesome. And then he's going to come up this way as well. So they all spend one AP and then they go over. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Um. I think my good friend here, Mr. Ebola, is going to shimmy over three. And then he is going to go and hold. Lots of thrilling dice rolling going on in turn one. I'm done, so you're Oh, you're fantastic. Continue. Okay, uh, I will um, do what paltry few things I have left to do. Um, this, this may be shocking and amazing to you, but I am going to ever so slightly advance my bola, and he is also going to go and hold. I'm going to activate my drill head. He has total of four action points. He is going to then advance forward 12 inches. So you're going to probably want to pick up those. I'm not too worried about getting charged for next turn. My other drill head is going to activate. He's going to move nine inches because he has three AP and three movement. Just coming on over, saying hi. He's activated, he's activated. I do believe that's all the activations. Um, do you have anything that triggers in the lingering effects phase? No. Okay, I don't as well. I'm going to... Uh, Pick up two more secondary objectives because this took mine. Fantastic. Alrighty, uh, roll up for initiative. Yep. Want to do it in the uh, yeah, yeah. fancy tin? I got a ten. I got a five, so I'm gonna elect to have the grafter go first. 
The grafter is going to measure 11, so I don't want to do that and go on hold. I'm in a very cagely position. I'm just going to advance up five inches, and he is, uh, he's quite happy where he's at. Pass it over to you. Sorry, which one was it again? Uh, my right. medic just moved up to cover the bubble. All right, I will start with those guys. Fantastic. I'm going to squad link them. Okay. Start with the front lady. Okay. She's going to make a spin an AP, make mm -hmm. psych check, uh, 14 or less, to try to get a power up power. Uh, she's not on first AP. So that's AP. a, uh, just for the viewer's pleasure, that was a 16. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so second AP. Yep. Uh, 18, so that's going to fail as well. So that is AP, unfortunate. One more time, 14 or less. Got it done in 10. She uh, took, took her some time to remember her learnings, but yeah. she, she got there. She actually got to it, so we're just going to use those as the markers for that. Awesome. Uh, we're going to repeat the process going down, hopefully with a little bit of rolling. Uh, <laughs> so the bald guy, 14 or less, he got a 12, so he's good. He's he a smart one. He obviously took to the schooling. So because he did it on the first one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move him a bit. Fantastic. So we're going to remove the on four. And just for the people at home, um, I see new players get confused by this a lot. You can move through models of the same size or equal, so yep. he is happy to move through his own guys right there. Yep, yep, yep. Um, now, what do we call this? I forget. Uh, we call that open terrain, and you'll get heavy cover if I'm shooting through the, uh, the mark. Awesome, cool. We'll, uh, we'll fix that in a second. He's done. There. All right, so faithful number three, we're going to start that process as well. So 14 or less, uh, he got a 20, so he failed on that one. Um, now, was that called a loss of an AP? Uh, no, so, uh, that only occurs on a attack roll. Attack roll so yeah. this is just a test, you don't... So AP number two, 14 or less. Uh, nope, AP number three. Oh, well, that was a 15 for those at home. <laughs> and then uh, AP number three, he got a four, so success yep. on that one. You can definitely tell who is uh, Who's been in school? doing their homework. Absolutely. All right. All right, so that will end the three of them. Um, I think uh, my good friend Mr. Mayhem is going to go. Just remove the counter to remind me that he has an extra action point. Using that additional action point, I'm going to see if he can uh, pick up a power counter. Yeah, His psychology is an 18. Let's see if you do any better. <laughs> it's kind of terrifying that he might be considered the smarter one of the, the right, bunch. Right? Let's just say his willpower pushes it through. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled an 11. I guess he's been eating some smart people, so he's going to get the power counter. Uh, I am AP4, so I uh, have my extra AP, so I have four inches left. I have move of... So your base four plus one for five. Yep. So there, there, because I cannot move through my drill heads, because uh, I don't believe I am the same size as them. Um, and obviously this comes along for the red. He's good. He's good. I'm going to shift over here. Uh, let's, start with, let's start with the weaponsmith. He's going to attempt with the... Faithful good. So his psych is a 12, so he has 12 or less. Yep. First AP, I got a 19. Unfortunate. Second AP, 12 or less, I got a 2. two. Awesome. So he's good on the second one. And he's going to spend his last AP to move 3. He is no longer on board. And it's over to you, sir. All right. Well, I think we, we are just going to play the scenario game in this one in the short term. I think... Uh, yeah. The Headless Rays is going to try to beat a objective counter out of the poor objective. Uh, he's a psychology score of 14. Nice. He, wow. he, you guys obviously went to school. Or uh, yeah, said eight smart people. people. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just intimidated the objective into yeah, giving yeah, over. That's what it is. Give me your lunch money. Yeah. <laughs> he's just going to then advance for two more action points, moving six inches. I will pass it over to you. I'm sorry, this should be in base to base, and he's no longer on hold. Psych is 16, so 16 or less on the first AP. You got it on the three. Got it in there. So he's got two, three AP left. He has four base. Mm -hmm. Let's move that. Let's see. 
I was measuring to see if I could move in that shoot cake yep. shot. Yep, absolutely. Too far, too far, too far. And before some uh, angry YouTube commenter uh, decides to make a comment about this, I'm assuming you're powering up his armor rather than his My weapon. My apologies, yes. No, yeah, default, yeah. I power up the armor. I should announce it every turn. It, it, I think it's by convention. I think we both understand it, but in case someone decides to say... Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. Activation, power up the armor. Yep. I will try to remember. You're, you're fine, man. Uh, so, three, if you want to do nine. Not one of your Woohoo! So, but... This is Victoria from the Steven Oh, yeah, we're well, Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hmm. I think we, we met we met somewhere. Um, so he's done. Fantastic. Last three to go there. So awesome. Okay. Um, I think my keepsake is going to go. She is going to use her psychogenic blood rush to try to give Father Mayhem an additional AP for next turn. Uh, that is a critical failure. Um, it would be a malfunction as well. However, I've taken a grafter. And he comes with three superior maintenance tokens. I'm going to use one of those to ignore the critical failure. I um, to mention that to you. These are my maintenance counters for the weapons. Awesome. Just so you know. um, she does lose an extra AP, though. So at least there were two left. I'm a psychogenic master, so I can attempt to cast a spell twice. I will attempt to cast it again. You shouldn't take a hit from it. It wasn't offensive at all. Uh, it was not an offensive. I would normally take a hit had I malfunctioned. I still oh, critically I failed, but yeah. Oh, you did say that, yeah. It's all good, man. We're going to try it one more time. Six will do it, so Father Mayhem is all jazzed up. Uh, that is her activation. He's, he's loving the war today, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what. All right, so all you got left are the strikes and rabbits, so we're going to see what kind of crazy stuff we can do here. If you can remind me, that's a bola, that's a bola. Right? That is correct. Yep, there's a puppet. That's a puppet. That's a uh, medic, my grafter. In, in general, what's the puppet do? Uh, the puppet is there to take wounds for other that's people. Meat shield. Yep. That's right, yep. And the bowler's defense is... A5. Five. A5. Five. We're going to give uh, light cover there. Right? Yep, that sounds good. And how many wounds do you have? Uh, they only have one wound. All right, so we're going to... We're going to activate the Ravages. We're going to squad me. Nice. The Ravages leader. Actually, no, we won't. I'll just do one at a time. Sounds good. What do we see a movement penalty here? Uh, I would call that open ground. Yeah. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure I remember. Three. Checking range. Do you have range? All right. I'm going to, uh, before you... And I apologize for this because it's yeah, yeah. a quirky retroactive thing. As you come around the corner and get out of cover, I'm going to go off hold and try to shoot you before you get within your 8-inch range. Um, what is your defense? Uh, defense 6. Okay. Uh, I am an assault score of 6, so I'd be looking for a 12 or lower. I've rolled a seven, okay. so you will be entangled. entangled, which as a result of being entangled, you are not prone, or sorry, you just are prone. Yep. You cannot make attacks, and additionally, you take a power four hit. A four hit. You're a Ravage, you're pretty beefy, so. Yeah. Armor 18, yep. so uh, the power four, so 14 yep. or less. 16. Unfortunate. Fit, you will take one. Now, with the entangle, if I remember, I can spend an AP to remove it? That is correct. Okay, so she spent one AP over three. Yep. So we'll spend a second AP to remove the intent. Awesome. We don't have the token out. Yep. So I, I apologize, Robert. I, the intent was, as a second you're around the corner, give me the shot to knock her down. Since I can interrupt oh, I your movement. So she's back here. She's then. back here I then. Apologize. I no. didn't know what the range yep. was on it. Sorry, but I have range 10, so I can Measure quite... Measure 10 for me. So Absolutely. Know stop her at. Sure. So right there on the yeah. corner. Okay. So she's prone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We removed the entangle. She has one AP left. I can stand up from the pro. That's not a bad idea. Keep you from, from attacking me at a later point. All right, so she's not going to be able to do it. He's going to hold her on the pole. Ten inch range, so let's measure that. So she's going to move forward then. Her three. Awesome. Sounds good. All right. So let's lob a grenade. Alrighty. We are assault six. We're gonna use the frag grenade for the awesome. knockdown. So assault six. Your defense is a five. Uh, how modifier for cover is negative, three. negative two for light cover. Yep. So it'll be nine or less. it'll be a nine or less. You could aim. You could aim. Let's aim. I'm sure. Eleven or less. Fantastic. No. Nope. Thirteen. No. So okay. It'll scatter. And I'm guessing you intended to center on my yep. model. Also, awesome. it'll scatter four. Max, so oh, one. one. So you still obviously catch my bola. Yep. Uh, what is the power on this weapon? It, it is 
is a power of 6 and knockdown 10. Okay, so let's resolve the power to see if knockdown even matters. I'm an armor of 12, so I'd be looking for a 6 or less. 19 is not a 6. Um, I believe I'm going to use the puppet's ability of my blood for your blood. So when I would take an HP, I can instead have that model take the HP within 4 inches. I think that's comfortably so. Uh, because of the grafters hanging their boy's ability, he is now taken to wound. He is prone and he is dying. Um, however, we still need, yep. So looking for ten or less. Ten or less. That's a three. Yep. So he's prone. And that will one, two, three aim. So they're both done. Alrighty. Fifty-six minutes. Awesome. I do believe the grafter is going to go uh, strikes or. Not going to get to me this turn. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I don't think I care for a lot of this. I'm going to move him three inches forward. And the question becomes, do I feel like going back on hold to stop you again next turn, or do I feel like trying to shoot you this turn? And I think the answer is the former. I'm just going to go back on hold. It's pretty good, it's pretty good move. Because your overall objective is keeping you away from that. So. Exactly. I'm just trying to jam you up. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, I'm going to do the simple thing with the strikes. I think I'm just going to squad lead them and move them forward slightly, but I just don't want to take the pop shot. So your range ends at the front of this. Uh, let me actually, I'll tell you what. Yep. It's, this is an estimate. It's not quite this, but it's about 10 yeah, inches. It's 10 and a quarter. So it, it's going to be just like right around there. I was just going to stop him right back. Yeah, perfect. So we'll move the, uh, <laughs> the leader first. Mm -hmm. Now, because they're squad linking, they're getting we'll be able to go on hold for free at the end. Awesome. So he's going to go there. He's only going to end up going about three. A little bit less than that. And that'll end their activation and the And I believe I am done activating, so. Okay, um, I'll finish up my activation. So I'll start with the easy stuff. The grafter is just going to walk over his three. Check to make sure you're about within one. I think that might actually be shy. Um, do you have like one of the little measuring tools? I, do. I have a one inch one. If you have one measure one inch one, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Uh, that's the two inch there. Okay. Yep. Uh, we're not quite in, so I'm going to just move him a little bit further back, getting within one inch. That cost me two HP of okay. two HP of movement. I'm going to use his stitch ability, okay. so he's no longer dying. However, he I don't have the appropriate token for it, where he's rot because neither of us have that ability to represent. He is now minus two AS. Minus two inch. Uh, assault score to melee attacks. He's a base assault score of one, so he he is somehow a uh, negative one to hit you. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Robert. Sorry. Um, I'm going to have the other puppet attempt to pick up a power counter. Now, he, he is not too sharp. He is a CS of 8. Okay. So let's see see how he's doing. Still better than the brute have, I think. 9, so <laughs> close but no cigar. Action point number 2. Yep. 13, okay. not going to do it. It seems they and the faithful went to the same school. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So when it comes to test time, he's good. He's just no good. <laughs> That's what it comes down to. <laughs> so he's, he's going to take his one, and uh, he's going to try to scuttle on over soon. Um, last but not least, I have my drill heads. I think they're going to squad link, because why not at this point? Uh, they're just going to come up and start saying hello to all their friends. And I was actually incorrect earlier. They are the same size as Father Mayhem. They're actually both medium models, so I could have moved directly, directly through. So I learned a thing today. Apparently my puppet did too, so... So you're all done then? I am all done. Um, I don't think we have anything that resolves right now, if I'm uh, correct. Yeah, I oh, some things later on. I'm actually terribly sorry. I'm not all done. I have one bola left who is just going to hop over the pipe and stay on hold. Um, I'm going to elect to get rid of some of my secondary objectives. Yeah. I'm going to drop one more. That it is. We're rolling the uh, the bin. I got a nine. I got a fourteen. So Robert, your your choice. Yeah. I still don't think we're gonna get too many charges off because I don't want John going in there with his last AP on Reyes because I think he's gonna kill him in the video. It does not sound like a great tactical plan. And again, by default, he'll be doing his armor. Oh, of course, of course. Yep, yep. Now, just make sure we get that out of there. Awesome. 
So let's see, so he's on hold, but he's not because he's not he's been knocked out. That is correct. Right? And you did stay outside of me. Very smart man. Yep, so we're gonna activate him. This first AP is gonna move forward. It's mm -hmm. gonna put him within range of him after one inch of movement. Okay, yep. So I'm gonna move him forward an inch real quick. You want to right. up hold or? I, I apologize, I was not paying attention as well as I should have. Okay. So you're not able to get my puppet. You would be able to throw a grenade at him. He's going to finish his move with three. Oh, oh okay, yeah. Stop at the hold point in case they're going to get him. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, ha, yes. So yeah, I got another two inches. So you would be able to get in there. Well, you're going to have one that's able to get in there kind of no matter what I do. Yeah, um, one guy in holds, no matter which one you're going to shoot at. I'm a little bit more worried about the strikes at the moment. Okay. Um, so I think, at least for him, I'm going to not elect to use my own hold. Great. Yep. Two inches of movement from right here. So it should just be within eight inches. Can you yep. measure that for me to make sure? I, I think you are absolutely. You are. Okay, great. Um, so, we are going to do the frag grenade again. Awesome. The, uh, the blast to knock down ten. Fantastic. Assault six. Yep. Our defense. Seven on the. Uh, Sorry, on the him, on the puppet. So he's a defense seven. I would argue this is a part of the big part of the cover that would be heavy cover. So that would be minus four. Minus four, so that gives you a defense three effectively. Yeah, exactly. So I need a nine or less. Uh -huh. I can spend another AP to aim. Okay. Which I will do. Okay, so you're looking for an 11. Yep. So 11 or less. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm guessing you're going to. So you're going to hit both my models. Yep. There's a chance they both could be prone. Now, the puppet already is prone. Oh. Oh, we didn't account for, for that. that. What was... I do not remember. I'll re-roll it. Just okay, I'm sorry, it. Robert. No, I'm really... Fine. No, no, no. I have no problem with this. It. fine. Uh, so let's recalculate it again. So. Uh, your defense three. Yep. Uh, assault six. Yep. And I aim. Aim, so 11 but normally. I rolled a five. Okay, so you... you yeah, no. Awesome. So we Good. Either yeah. way. We hit either way. Perfect. Like, if we went yeah, yeah. Process, <laughs> then memory would come back. So. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Probably roll. So I'm going to resolve the hits against both of them. Let's start with the puppet. He is a armor of 10, and this is a power of 6, so 4 or less. I rolled a 17, that's not going to do it. He is still within medic range of the grafter, so he is just dying. I can't heal him again, but he's still... And he's already prone, I'm not going to roll yep. the uh, The grafter, though, you might want to roll. So uh, the grafter has... Oh, shucks, where did I put that card? Um, Right in front of me. He's an armor of 14, power 6. I'm looking for an 8 or less. I rolled a 10. That will not do it. And what, let's see if the grafter is not prone. Uh, knock down uh, 10 or less. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a 10. He is not prone. Alrighty, so your model is out of action points. So what's going to go happen yes, next? So he's in a, your puppet is in a dying state, right? That is correct. So can he still shift wounds to himself? He can. It's it's obnoxious and uh, will not be a now, thing much longer. Sure. Now if he takes additional wounds, he stays dying or he goes away? He, he goes away. So if he takes one more wound, he will be so gone. I, so if I do happen to somehow get past him and in there, it's a possibility. Okay. All right, well, we got the other Ravage. Uh, let's see where your, your range is 10. So yeah, no, as soon as I get to here, yep. I'll be able to take a shot. So that is a one-inch move again. Over there. Would you like to... um, apologies for taking some time to figure that out. Uh, let's just think about my options here. So, if I can do this, there's a chance I can activate my other bola and take some shots at some things I care about a little bit later. So I think it does behoove me to do that. Okay. So you are a defense of six. I'm an assault score of six. So I'm going to try to hit a 12 or less. I critically hit you. So you take a wound and are entangled and knock prone. And I, I, was that the one that was wounded before? Oh, you're right. That's the other wound right there. Okay. Wow. That was uh, unexpected. Okay. Um, hey, that's yeah. Uh, whew. A lucky crit when you need it, right? Apparently. Um, all right. So I'm going to be a little bit tricky, I think. I can still make range attacks when I am prone. So I do believe that he is going to check to see. 
We'll see if I am within strike range. So the good news is the strikes, if they want to come over, they are going to have to spend their whole kit. St. John, I can't quite get to yet. I'm not terribly interested in knocking him down. Yeah, she's already active. Yeah, um, you know. I'll start my next turn. I'm yeah. Thrown in a tangle, though. So, yeah, I think it makes sense for me. So, just uh, kind of yeah. talking through the rules, I have a rate of fire two. I haven't fired yet. Yep. So, I can fire once, go and hold, and then before my activation, I can still fire again. Yep. So, I think we're going to do that. He's going to take a shot at your ravage. I'm a six. You're a six. So, we're looking for 12s. And because you're actually against the thing, there's no cover. Correct. So, I would own just the cover. The yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so, I rolled a four, which would hit you. So, you are entangled, which also causes you to be prone. Yep. And this is a power four, which is probably going to plink off your more than yeah, more than hefty armor. Armor eighteen. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, so Fourteen or less. I got a twelve. So you are quite safe. Do you have something to represent the entangled, so we don't forget. To be yeah, sure. Player. So what I've been doing is I've been using a uh, blue token, uh, bioenergy, because we're obviously not playing right, Kukulkani. Yeah. Um, it just helps to. So okay. Remember. Awesome. Is this the finals? Uh, no, this is a uh, semifinal. So Aaron and uh, Dave are playing over there, and we are playing. Aaron and Dave Moffat. Um, all right, so that was my activation. Over to you. Yep. And he went on hold, right? He did, yes. You should do a bit of pre measuring real quick. Absolutely. So I am nine inches away. He has four activation points, moves three. So I could charge and actually have two attacks. What's his defense again? Eight, you said? Yes, sir. Armor 20? Yep. Three wounds? Uh, five HP. Five. Nice. Yeah. He's a beast. So crazy. So we're nine, so I can't shoot. I'd have to move in order to do that. And I doubt a power four is going to do a whole lot to you. Well, it's a four by two, though. Hmm. That's not terrible odds. Yeah. Well, let's activate John. Okay. All right? We're gonna power armor. Yeah, yep. <laughs> Just for the folks at home, let's keep that one clear, right? So we're gonna move forward and use the AP. All right. Actually, if, if you don't mind, I move forward one inch and move that slightly. Yeah, sure. And then I'm going to use the other two to just kind of shimmy sideways. Yeah, right on, man. That way I'm at least trying to maximize my AP to get towards the tower, right? So that I'm makes a lot there, of sense. You know? um, I should be within eight, yes. Okay. All right. So I think what I'm going to do, just to be a pain in your keister, yeah, you're on hold. Uh, I'm going to go off hold, and I, it looks, just before I, I make check. the declaration. Before you go off hold. Yeah. Yep. So before you... Take a shot at me. I'm going to go off hold and try to shoot you. Now, what is uh, St. John's defense? He is a defense six. Okay, so I'm an assault source. So, yep, sure, of course. Yes, it is a six. Okay, so I'm again. Oh, I'm an eight. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I, I thought it was four, so I was like, oh, I didn't, oh, didn't no, want, no, didn't want no, you to. No, uh, with all that armor, no way. It's slow and clunky. So I have rolled a three, so you are entangled, and again, yep. not prone. Prone, entangled, power four, you said? Yes, sir. All so, right, so for those at home that have never seen this, let's walk them through this. Yeah. John's power armor allows him to roll two dice, and he removes one of them. However, there's a there's a back shot to it. If, after I remove any dice, if one of them is a 16 or higher still, he takes an additional, additional wound. So this thing, it can be risky, but it's generally well worth it. So you're a power four, mm -hmm. armor 20, so I need a 16 or less. So I got a 12 and a six, and we take away the 12 and gives him a six. You're more than safe. And that's generally how that works, so if you're lucky. <laughs> Uh, Alright, so he's knocked prone and tangled. That was his first his AP. AP. I'm going to send another AP to untangle. Yep. And then I'm going to spend an AP to remove the prone. Okay. So that's three AP, right? Yep, you got one AP left. And then we're going to take the shot. Okay, sounds great. So it's a nice little, nice little AP sync. What right, round is it? So. Uh, it is currently round uh, three. Um, so, yeah, so we're still getting one shot. So he is assault. Five. Assault six, defense eight, so that's a 14. I can't aim, I'm out of AP. So I need a 14 or less, single shot. As he launches his little saw blade. And I got a 17, which misses. I have a Mala 18, so he's safe. Perfect. And that will end his death. And thanks to Mr. Weaponsmith, I think you are uh, very comfortable in... Uh, well, it hasn't helped my ravages in previous games. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry to ask this, Robert, because I honestly don't remember. Have I... I thought have I, I know I've gone off hold with this bowl this turn. Have I activated him? He he went off hold when um, when he I mean, came he up. Went, yeah. Yes, because he killed the second one. Yeah. When he went is when he went off hold, but he has not activated that I'm that I can. Recall. I I don't think he has. One of your last activations. Yeah. Why you're thinking that he reactivated yeah. recently? So. Well, I apologize to the viewers at home you if like we've. Some activation tokens? Um, you know I have them. I find it a little bit confusing just because my army is very token heavy. Very token heavy. Yeah, absolutely. That's um, what I was assuming was the reason. So. 
So what I, what I normally do, and I have not been doing this game, is I like to tap the cards. Sure. Unfortunately, with the triple bolas, it's a little... Well, now that I know yeah. that's what you do, I'll, yeah. I'll do that. Except that's, on the bolas. I'll yeah. just try to help you remember them. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so you guys are all good. So you can't be healed. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move him back three inches just yeah. to get out of striking distance to, to make a really terrible pun. Yeah, and uh, hold him and the other one is, it's for an iceberg. I'll keep that methodology running. <laughs> I'll pass it over to you. All right, cool. Now, uh, what's the movement on your um, drill head? They're a base movement of three. Now, I just want to be fair. Yep. Don't forget that she's a psychogenic that can give me an extra um, AP. Right. What's the range on the uh, So the range is eight inches. So I have to walk up quite a bit to okay. be able to get in the range. Also, don't forget that they have one reach attack. So yep. they can uh, they can be quite yeah, threatening. It's a seven by two power, right? Correct. Yeah. So it would be an eight, eight by two on a charge. Yep. Yeah, I know they're rough. <laughs> God forbid you actually do something to inspire them or a furious charge or some other stuff. So the Keepsake has an ability called Instigate. Now this is not the Instigate that is on the Forsaken cards because it's still uh, soon to be updated. But well, non-character models are within 8 inches of her, they get plus 2 to their Assault score. So they have a base Assault, skull, uh, assault score of 8, so while they're within 2 inches they'll be a 10. So it's quite threatening. What we're going to do is we're going to squad link these two first. Alrighty. So we're just going to just start her, running around. Movement. We're only going to do eight inches, not the full, because I want to stay behind here. That sounds like a great we idea. Have to spend extra movement to get back there. Most definitely. And then move her a little bit in with her. Already? I think you, if I back up. Oh, of course. Two inches, and because yeah, yeah. No, it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter because I was thinking about putting her on hold, but she'd be way back here if I did that. So that yeah. might be a little too conservative. Yeah, yeah it's a, little, a little too conservative for this game. So uh, this one here, he's not going to go through there. He's going to come around this way. Right on. Yeah, he's going to go his full nine here. So only those two have activated. Perfect. Put those tokens down real quick. So I still got Baldy there to activate later on. So. All right. So I'll turn it over to you. Oh, decisions, decisions. Um, Father Mayhem, I think, is going to be my next activation. I'm going to measure to see how far away I am from the objective. I'm within 12 inches, so he has a base number of action points of four. He has a movement of three. However, because of the keepsake psychogenic, I have five. So I'm going to move towards the objective, just get over on here. With my last action point, I just checked the scenario. I can just spend an action point to remove this and score two victory points. So I think I'm going to do that, and I'm going to pass it over to you. Do you have a tracker for your primary? I do, actually. I've been using uh, this tracker here. So I have scored two secondaries. I scored my first two primaries, so I'm at four. I hope they make those. Yeah, definitely. All right. So then he's active, so he's good. So just to recap for me, Absolutely. he is not activated, he is not activated, she yep. has not, he has not. And don't forget about Riz. Yep, so actually I apologize. The, um, oh, he has not activated. No, he, he did. Oh, he did. He was the one who uh, was oh, a jerk and did that. That's right. Yeah. Um, no, because he, he came off hold. He came off hold, he activated, refreshed his rate of fire, then shot one, knocked her down, yep. off hold over there. Gotcha. Um, and I, I, I really should be better about this. Did I heal him this turn with the grip? I did heal him this turn. So these two are both activated. Yeah. These have activated. Raze is not activated. Neither of my drill heads. This bola, the keepsake, or the puppet. Okay. So you've got, I believe, what? The um, strikes, the weaponsmith, and uh, the last... Yep. Now, the range in your bullets is 10. Thankfully, my weaponsmith is a 12, so he can begin outranging you. That he can. So we're going to start trying to take advantage of that. We're going to see if we can activate him next. Yep. I'm just going to here, your 10 inch range is to there. Mm -hmm. So I would actually have to spend all three of my AP just to get there. I wouldn't be able to shoot. Five minutes, gentlemen. Thank so you. we're just going to move the six. We're going to go to there. And then we're just going to end the activation. Alrighty. Um, I think the keepsake is going to activate. It looks like I'm a little more than 11 inches away from that drill head. I could be wrong. I'm not a carpenter, so apologies for those who are going to check that afterwards. She's going to spend two action points to move up. She is going to try to use Blood Rush to give that drill head. So I'm looking for 14 or lower. Six, so that is 14 or lower. Mark that with a token. I'm going to do the same thing on the other drill head with my last action point. So again, 14 or lower. Five, so that will also do it. Okay, pass it back over to you. All right, so I've got a faithful and some strikes. Yeah. 
And they're, I'm sorry, the base move is? Uh, um, uh, which model are you talking about? The, the drill heads. heads. Their base movement the is three inches. Is <laughs> uh, three inches. Three. Okay. And they have a four AP with the extra? They will have four AP with the extra. So 12 inches broke. Uh, don't forget they have reach, so technically a 14. It's it's going to be tricky. Now, if you can get engaged with me, I am I am not thrilled about the idea of fighting faithful. I can, I can stay, stay, stay alive. So we're just going to move his three. Already? And we're Great. Hold with him. Okay, fantastic. That way, at least if you do charge me, I have a small chance of straight up. Okay. I think. Um, we're all done. So all I got left are the strikes. So you keep saying the word strike, which has me really scared for the strikes, because I've seen what they can do, and it is not pretty. Yeah. It does take a little bit of to set it up, but once they It does. Them, oh, it does. Power. I think uh, Mr. Bola over here is just going to walk closer to the objective, both to threaten a little bit of them coming this way and, you know, just push him back, running my skirmish lines. So he's going back on hold. There's something about being in the middle of a war, though. I mean, a scary thing. All right, so he's on hold, he's on hold. That is correct. So if I squad link them, and I move her, just let me be able to train her in this tank. Yeah, of course. Yep. So Do you want to just kind of like uh, put this out just uh, so it's a bit... Oh, we're good, right? awesome, man. Cool, cool. Yeah, so she's going to do that, which will put her back on hold again. Yep. And then he's going to move the four. Should, should keep, you, keep me out of your ten on both. Let's double check to make sure. Yep. Definitely. And then you roll back. Fantastic. So you've got, uh, do you have anything left to activate? No, okay. So I've got my rays, my drill heads, and my puppet. I'll remove my activation from now. Just yeah, perfect, man. Um, so I want to speed up a little bit because we are getting a little tight in time. Yeah. I think rays is just saying, me want to score points. Yeah, that's what it's coming down to, I think. Uh, I think it is, unfortunately. Um, as much as I'd love to just get rid of scrap, we I, see how these guys do it, but... I, I, really, I really like scrapping, too, so I'm a, I'm a little sad it's coming down to just... The points on the board, and then we'll start to yeah. scrap, if we have the time. <laughs> so I think the puppet is also just going to start trying to drop off his homework at school. Um, the ones that actually, I think, could do some interesting things, though, are going to be the drill heads. So... Um, they have some potential. You so, measuring? Yep. Uh, I just I'm having a little bit of a hard time seeing inside the building. Right here in the inside of yep. this corner, directly underneath that corner. Awesome. So correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this guy's on hold. The He's other two are, those the other two are, are not. Here. Okay. So what I'm going to attempt to do, and please tell me, let's just measure it to see if it's even close yep. to possible. Yep. So you, you uh, Tim. So I'm going to move him six inches, and I'm going to use my reach attack. And I only have one two rate inches. of fire. Yep. Right there. Awesome. So just right up here, and it's going to be kind of a weird angle. Yep. Um, so just kind of walking through what I'm going to try to do. They have a reach attack. It's only rate of fire one. Reach attack. Can you come off a hold and move out of the way? Is that uh, no, no unfortunately you can't. Like yeah. It's That's what I thought. Yeah. So uh, if I hit you, I have an ability called Pierce. This does extreme damage. So hypothetically, I could hit you, kill you, and then also put another attack into your friend. So we're going to try to do that. So I spent two action points. I get a charge now. I am an AS of eight, nine on the charge. What is it? Six. Six. So I'm looking for a 15 or less. I rolled a two, Great. which will hit. Uh, this is a power eight times two on the charge. Eight times two. Armor 16. Yep. I need eight or less. I got a six and an 18, so one will fail. So I'll take a wound. It's extreme damage. Yep. So now I have unstoppable. Correct. I have a psycho 14, so I need a 14 or less, which always one of them fails in the very first go. Oh. Now, the power marker remains there. That is correct. Yep. So um, I'm going to use the Pierce ability, because I believe that you were within the distance to do it, to try to hit your other faithful. Uh, so yeah, you should be playing, playing, playing like an ancient. Yeah, so, um, so make sure I'm actually playing this correctly. Uh, um, within one inch of the targeted model. Was he within an inch of the target? I'm sorry, I should have measured that out. It looked like it was, but... Uh, awesome, so I'm going to roll my assault score again. Um, this is not a charge. I'm an AS of 8. Six. Um, so I'm looking for a 14 this time. Okay. 16, which is not going to do it. Yep. Um, so that was two of my AP. I got the free charge. I'm just going to move him. So do you think I'm within three inches of you with him? Right now you're within three. Already. Okay, yeah. I'm just going to move him around just to charge. Okay. And I just need to end him base to base. So if yeah, you can assist yeah, me there. Over the base here. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Oh, you're fine. So we'll put you right there on the edge. Yep. It also puts you in base contact with that power counter as well. So. Great. So uh, 
I am an assault score of eight. Uh, now I'm not using my reach attack, so this does not have extreme damage. So, uh, 14, uh, add those two together, plus one for charging, 15. Now, where was this? I rolled a 14, that will hit. This is a power eight times two. Eight times two, so eight, eight or less off the yep. armor 16. Uh, so I got a nine and a 16, I'm still only gonna do one wound. Yep, so I'm gonna use my last action point. Damage, right? It is not extreme damage. Uh, so, so, I guess, so don't forget to do it. Yep. I'm gonna try to hit you one more time. Now, I, I statistically should not kill you, but stranger things have happened. So this time I'm looking for a 14 because I'm not charging. I rolled a 15, so I do not hit. Uh, that's his activation. Uh, I have my, another drill head, and I don't think I'm within range to really be scary. Uh, uh, you so can get over here and do your reach attack there. But what's your, uh, total, what's your total threat? Uh, 14. Uh, but I think I might do. I think it's going to cost me. I think it's going to cost me all four. I'm just going to come around and yeah, do the reach attack. Yeah. So just doing the math on it, I'm an eight. Get nine for the charge, ten for having a buddy, plus your six, sixteen. I rolled a three, so that will hit you. This, oh, this is a, is a, it's a how? nine times two. And it's the extreme damage? It is the extreme damage. Uh, so nine times two, uh, armor 16. Yep. So I need a seven or less. I got a crit one. So yeah, crit yeah. So that's interesting. This is, almost never happens. You got just, uh, just to reiterate, yep. I got a crit one and a twenty. So if you want to explain to folks what that means? Yeah, sure. So uh, normally, if you get a critical failure, which is a twenty, you'll uh, take an additional wound. However, this is a power multiplier roll. Also, if you, uh, you had a crit success, which is a roll of one, in the case you get both, the one trumps the 20. So It's the best possible scenario in this case. Yep, so. exactly. So. Uh, that was all of them. Um, this is on the puppet. Everybody has gone, I believe. Um, okay, so I think we're in the lingering effects phase. Uh, I don't think I have anything that triggers here. I will score at the end of the round forward location because I'm in base to base with an objective on your side of the table. I did forget to declare a spoilers of war when an enemy or a friendly model is killed. Oh yeah, but objectives. by all means, man. Um, so put that guy out. I'm going to put the blood counter down for it. Awesome. Uh, it's going to be underneath your drill. I'm just going to move here real quick. And I apologize. Yep. Um, I forgot to declare this earlier. I killed a uh, model with a charge attack, so I will score brutal assaults. So that puts me up to six victory points. I draw two new cards. And Raz is a character, right? He is a character, that is correct. He is also a character. All right, one more time in the box for initiative, man. All right, let's do it. I got a 20. I got a five. Now, um, I'm gonna suggest we continue to play after this, but I'm gonna just walk Raze up as a first activation, score the points, it puts me to eight. So that'll end the game. Good game, Robert. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed this game from the Immortals Tournament at Cool Me Not Expo 2017. Uh, stay posted to my Instagram, Facebook, and um, Twitter account for the details of when the next one will air.